In today's video, I'll be unpacking some accessories and an upgrade for both Sony ZV-10 and A7 IV. I will also be giving some streaming tips for those who own these cameras or a similar one. Stay with us till the end so that you won't miss a new unboxing as well. Remember, this is only part 1 of the video. I'll be unboxing and explaining more professional streaming tools and gears for those of you who are interested in gaming or other social media live activity. Alright, first thing first, batteries and chargers. These are Enegan brand batteries and charger pack. You will get two batteries which must be compatible with your camera model. For Sony ZV-810, the battery model is NPFW50, which can last between 60 to 90 minutes of non-4K video shooting. And for Sony A7 IV, the battery model is NPFZ100, which lasts up to 2 hours of 4K video shooting. And as you may have guessed, even the charger are different and they are not compatible with any batteries. The charger will show a real-time charging status and can charge up to two batteries at the same time. And you have multiple charging options for the main unit like charging by a power bank, car charger, PC charging or any other 5V USB source. One last thing I wanted to add is that these chargers may not be super fast when it comes to charging but they are very safe and they take care of your battery. Next item, dummy batteries. Before we go into this, well let's just see what's a dummy battery and what does it do. Well when you are streaming with any professional camera, you can expect batteries to last that long and if you intend to plug other charging cables into the camera to charge the real batteries, then you are lowering the battery's lifetime and risking camera sudden disconnection or other unexpected problems. That's where these dummy batteries come to save you by plugging them into a 5 volts and 2 amperage power supply or use an adapter with a wall charger so that you are able to stream for as long as you want. Let's unpack these two. For the NPFW batteries, we got newer brand and for NPF 600 there is this non-brand type. As you notice, you can use one model for both cameras. Now let's take a look at these which are the basic items when you buy a camera. We got Ugirin SD card reader and a SD card. This is a Ugreen SD card reader 
with dual slot adapter for micro and normal SD card. For our camera, we got a SanDisk 128GB SD memory card with reading speed of 200MB per second and 140MB per second writing speed powered by SanDisk QuickFlow technology. Of course, you can choose a higher speed model like 300 megabyte per second or other brands like Lexar, but only changing from 200 into 300 megabyte of speed would cost you seven times more money. For example, a 128 gigabyte SanDisk is around $20, whereas a 300 speed with same capacity is almost $146. But personally, I'm more than happy with all of these here, and I think spending too much money for such change is not worthy for the time being. I make sure to put all the items links down below in descriptions so you could buy the appropriate models easily. So as you can see we got our HDMI cable for Sony ZV-E10. Depending on your camera model you may need a different HDMI connector type. For Sony ZV-E10 you must use a micro HDMI but for Sony A7 IV which is compatible only with full HDMI connector. There are also some other cameras that need a mini HDMI connector. What we have here is a micro for this camera. In future videos, I'm going to use it for streaming with Elgato USB cam link and explain more. All right guys, let's talk about this very handy item called Bluetooth hand grip. This little thing can be very useful when trying to record videos while moving. You can also change it into a tripod for streaming or vlogging. It's a well-known item, so there is not much to say, but for pairing, let me just explain in brief. All you have to do is holding down the T button and the photo for seven seconds at the same time, so it could pair up with your camera. Remember, both your Bluetooth and Bluetooth remote control must be on in your camera settings. And here is the bonus part of the video, unboxing Sony FE 90mm f2.8 macro lens. This lens is perfect for A7 series, 35mm full frame, APS-C E-mount cameras with the f2.8 aperture. It has a strong image stabilization and tons of other features which must be explained in another video. Let me know down in the comments if you are interested in knowing more. Of course it's not the new released model and costing around $1000 but by far is the best choice for product shooting which would be a perfect item for us to use. And the last part of our video, hard cases. After seeing all these costly items, now let's see how you can protect your expensive gears with these cases. All right, what we got here is a normal hard case, specially made for Alpha ZV-10. All right, let's just unzip it and see how it works. Okay. The camera goes in here. This is for the grip and here you can put the small lens. Of course, no, you cannot use for all kind of lens. And here is for the wires like batteries, chargers or some cables. It's around $25 and not taking much space. Perfect choice for moving around 
with these setups. Now it's time to show the other brand Qua, which is a very famous model and they are water and shockproof. More professional options to protect your cameras, drones or tactical gears. They come in so many different sizes depending on your gears. Our case is a 13 into 11 into 6 inches, which is enough for us when moving or traveling. The foam is customizable, meaning you can cut and remove them, then place your items in there based on their sizes. The price is of course more expensive than the other one, which is around $75 for this particular size. Alright guys, that's it for our today's video, I hope you have enjoyed it, and if you want to know more details or if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to share your opinions down in comments. See you in future videos.